Okay, guys. Now, in order to understand IELTS listening part four, first you need to read part four before starting your listening test. When they start the test, they've got a lot of ba 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 ba. You know what I what I mean by ba ba. You're going to listen to a number of different recordings, and you will have time to read the questions. And at the end of the section, you will have some time to check your. Answers. All the recordings will be played once only. Ba ba ba. This is ba ba. When they do ba ba ba, you have to say ka ka ka. Means you will come to part four and you will read all these questions and listen. Read them carefully. Don't try to read all the questions, but try to read at least first five questions. Read the title. Read first five questions, and then you can mark it. I've read five questions, and when they come here. You've read five questions. Overlook them, right? Just go through them quickly and then read questions thirty-six to forty. In part four, there will always be a lecture. It is educational, based on science, research, technology, anything, and there will be one tutor, one lecturer who will be delivering that lecture. Students usually complain in part four audio is very fast. It's not fast. It's fluent. When people are delivering lecture, their English is usually flipped because there is no interruption. In dialogue, there is interruption, right? One person is talking, other is answering. But in part four, there is no interruption, so it's going to be a fluent conversation. And why we have this in part four? Because when you guys are going to English-speaking countries, you're going to attend your lectures in English. Okay? You cannot say Mariji Punjabi. I will understand John a little Punjabi, John. Yeah. Okay. So they will deliver that lecture in in English. Now, section four. Complete the notes below. Notes. That means incomplete sentences. Write one word only. In part four, standard part four in IELTS listening test. If the test is normal and standard test, part one is one word and or a number, and part four is one word only. and if it is not standard then multiple choice or any other type okay so one word only new caledonian crows do you know crows yes. all right let's show some solidarity to crows for the next 10 seconds you will say ka 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 with me come on ka 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 yeah who said ud kothe ho to kaawan ve ये नहीं उठता तो जुत्ती मैं लावा वे एनीवेज सो न्यू कैलेडोनियन क्रोस एंड द यूज ऑफ टूल्स व्हाट डज इट रिमाइंड वंस अपॉन अ टाइम देयर वाज अ क्रो एंड दैट थर्स्टी क्रो यूज्ड पेबल्स और स्टोन एज अ टूल सो इट मींस क्रोस आर इंटेलिजेंट राइट दे आर वाइज so examples of animals using tools okay some chimpanzees use stones to break nuts betty new caledonian crow it's the name of the crow betty made a dash out of a wire now look here betty is a crow that crow made something out of wire do you know what wire is tar wire so now whatever betty made out of wire Right, Betty is the name of a crow. Yeah, let me tell you. Say, Betty, Nikki Pansy, Wendy Pansy. Yeah, Betty is the name of crow. So Betty made something out of a wire to move a bucket of food. There was a bucket of food, and Betty is the crow. Crow made something out of wire to move that. Let's see. And the audio will go on for some time, and then you'll find the answer. You will hear a lecture about a species of bird called the New Caledonian crow. I'm going to talk today about research into a particular species of bird, the New Caledonian crow, whose natural habitat is small islands in the Pacific Ocean. And it seems that these crows are exceptionally resourceful. Using sticks or other tools to find food isn't unknown among birds and animals. Some chimpanzees, for example, are known to bang nuts on stones in order to break the shell and get at the edible kernel inside. One New Caledonian crow called Betty bent some straight wire into a hook and used it to lift a small bucket of her favourite food from a vertical pipe. Well done. Got it. Straight wire into a hook. 
and then used it to move the bucket of this. So how do you spell hook? H U C K. H double O K hook. Got it? Okay. Uh, I'll play the last part only because it's a long audio. You will hear a lecture. Example, are known to bang nuts on stones in order to break the shell and get at the edible kernel inside. One New Caledonian crow called Betty bent some straight wire into a hook and used it to lift a small bucket of her favourite food from a vertical pipe. Okay, let's go on. Uh, then they talk about Barney, another crow and all that. New Zealand and Oxford experiment. Now, when in the audio they say New Zealand and Oxford experiment, it means now answer part is going to come. Three stages. Crows needed to move a dash in order to reach a short stick. Underline the word to move. Crows needed to move something in order to reach a short stick. Now, what is it that crows needed to move? Underline the word move. For move, what are the other words? Transfer to, to transfer, to, place. to push, exactly, move, to push, or to pull up. Pull up. For example, move a bottle. Push a bottle, pull up a bottle, drag a bottle, or anything like that. Okay. Whatever they say after the synonym of move. And the crows had to move that. That object, that object will be your answer. In one research project, scientists from New Zealand and Oxford set captive New Caledonian crows a three-stage problem. If they wanted to extract food from a hole, the crows first had to pull up a string to get a short stick, then use that short stick to remove a long stick from a toolbox, and finally use the long stick to reach the food. Amazingly, they worked out how to do this successfully. Excellent. Needed to pull up a string and then they mentioned in order to reach a short stick. Short stick cannot be the answer, it's already written. Then use the short stick to reach a long stick. And then use the long stick to reach food. I play this one again. In one research project, scientists from New Zealand and Oxford set captive New Caledonian crows a three-stage problem. If they wanted to extract food from a hole, the crows first had to pull up a string to get a short stick, then use that short okay, stick... Okay, pull up a string. S-T-R-I-N-G, like Rassi or Dori. Okay, yeah, you can say Seba. So, let's go on. Question number 33. Oxford Research. Crows used sticks to investigate whether there was any dash from an object. Crows used sticks to investigate whether there was any. Underline the word whether there was any. Whether there was any. So they used a stick to check something. Now what is it that they checked? Please listen to the audio and find it. Whether there was any. Further experiments carried out at Oxford suggest that crows can also use sticks as tools to inspect all sorts of objects, possibly to assess whether or not they presented danger. Whether or not they presented danger. Whether there was any, and for there was any, they use the word whether or not there was any danger. Answer is danger. D A N. G-E-R. And don't read it as dunger. Danger. Okay? <laughs> then there's question number 34. And before that, please underline spider design. You know why? Can you see spider design? You know why? Signposting. When the audio talks about spider design, you know they are there. Barney used a stick to investigate a snake made of... Have you ever seen plastic snake? Right, you know, you just put the snake and people are scared. So a snake made of, answer is material. Yeah, answer is rubber. Check his confidence. And have you noticed one thing? Part one, they know, samaj nahi lagdi. Part three or four, me itne achhe answers de raha. 
ये पुट्ठा चल रहा है ओके okay? ये yeah. लोगों को पार्ट फोर नहीं आता इसको पार्ट फोर आता है पार्ट वन नहीं आता सो स्नेक मेड ऑफ मीन्स मटीरियल विद विच दैट स्नेक वॉज मेड ऑफ एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्नेक मेड ऑफ प्लास्टिक इन दी ऑडियो दे विल से प्लास्टिक स्नेक और प्लास्टिक स्नेक राइट प्लास्टिक स्नेक मीन्स स्नेक मेड ऑफ प्लास्टिक स्नेक मेड ऑफ वुड वुडन स्नेक वुडन स्नेक राइट लेट सी इन दिस रिसर्च Five pairs of crows, including Barney, underwent tests to see how they would react to a variety of objects, which were carefully chosen so the birds wouldn't be tempted to view them as a possible source of food. As a further precaution, all the crows had been fed beforehand. On eight occasions, a bird's first contact was by using a tool. In all three trials, Barney began by using a stick for inspection. One involved a rubber snake. First he approached it. One involved a Yeah, rubber. Rubber, not rubber. To. Rubber. R U double B E R rubber snake. Okay, Pierre, it's for it was the name of another bird or something. As they talked about Barney, Betty and all that. Uh Pierre, it's a French name. Pierre used a stick to investigate a dash. Used a stick to investigate. Now the synonym of investigate, and then there'll be the answer. Yeah, investigate, find out, or anything like that. In other experiments, two different birds called Pierre and Corbeau also made a first approach with tools on three separate occasions. Pierre used a short piece of wood chip to touch a light which was flashing. To touch a light which was flashing. Now to investigate a light, to touch a light. In IELTS, stupid language, to investigate and to touch, they are synonyms. You will not find these synonyms anywhere. But in IELTS, these are synonyms. And answer is light, L-I-T-E. Excellent. L I G H T. Ha, ah, I play it again. In other experiments, two different birds called Pierre and Corbeau also made a first approach with tools on three separate occasions. Pierre used a short piece of wood chip to touch a light which was flashing. The ghanta dede ghanta English padhaya. Uske baad maine kaha thank you so much. That's the end of the class. Take care. Okay. बैठी हुई लेकिन करी जाती ओके 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 फिर मैं खड़ा हो गया <laughs> मैंने कहा एंड ऑफ द क्लास यू कैन गो बैक होम नाउ फिर उसको समझ आई थी तो यहां पर भी कुछ ऐसा ही हो रहा है ठीक है थर्सडे फ्राइडे सैटरडे को क्लास है हाँ शुक्र चलें जी जल्दी करें बहुत सारे लोगों को जल्दी है कहीं अपना बैग भी बंद कर लिया ओके लेट्स गो ऑन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स नाउ देर इज अ ग्रेट जंप इफ देर इज अ ग्रेट जंप इट मीन्स ऑडियो विल गो ऑन 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 एंड ऑन नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इज कंक्लूशन एंड द सेकेंड थिंग इज बर्ड्स कॉग्निशन बर्ड्स cognition when they say birds cognition and one more thing you know what happens when there is no question they will use same wording aise badtameez hain where there is a question they will change the wording where there is no question they will use same wording over there so birds cognition after that unclear whether this is evidence of the birds dash now listen conclusion of above research what is conclusion number 1 ability to plan provides interesting evidence of the birds cognition unclear now what is unclear conclusion all right what is unclear conclusion is unclear whether this is evidence of the birds dash now birds dash apostrophe s if the if the noun is plural we use apostrophe s after s and we never add an extra s okay so birds what right and underline the word evidence of and for evidence of they will, they may use the word sign of right sign of evidence of birds dash 
So, what conclusions can be drawn from the research? Evidence is building up from experiments such as these that the birds are able to plan their actions in advance, which is very interesting for understanding their cognition. They don't seem to be responding in a pre programmed sort of way. It may even be possible that they're able to view a problem and work out what the answer is. However, a major difficulty is assessing whether this tool using behaviour is a sign of intelligence. To some extent, this is related to the tool ecological s e n s e behaviour is a sign of intelligence. So, evidence of the birds' intelligence. When they're talking about intelligence, they are already talking about birds. So, sign of intelligence means evidence of birds' intelligence. Question number 37. Exeter and Oxford research in New Caledonia. Scientists have attached very small, small cameras to birds' dash. Now, listen, answer is part of body. They attach small cameras. Where do they usually attach c a m e r a Tail? Healthy, r i g <laughs> They may attach camera bird's neck or bird's feet, maybe, right? So they attach tiny cameras to birds. Now it's the part of body where they attach the cameras. So scientists want to find out much more about how the crows behave in their native habitat. And a team from Exeter and Oxford universities is carrying out research in New Caledonia. They're looking into whether the bird's way of searching for food gives them any possible evolutionary advantage. The birds are hard to observe as they live in a region of mountainous forest, so the researchers have attached tiny cameras to the tails of some birds as one method of investigating their behaviour. He had said the right answer, that's why I confused you. Tail, T A L E. What's the meaning of T A L E tail? Story. That tail means story. So T A I L. Singular or plural, there is no problem. You may write tail or you may write tails. There's no problem. Okay. Question number 38. Food in the form of beetle lar. We pronounce it as larvae. Beetle larvae provides plenty of, underline the word plenty of. And quietly write there so much. For example, there is plenty of water. There is so much water. Plenty of and so much. So, whatever they say after plenty of, that will be your answer. The birds are masters at using sticks to find their food, in particular, beta larvae from the trees. It's possible that the birds can derive so much energy from these grubs that they only need to eat a few each day. Okay, so much energy that they need to eat a few each day. Energy will be the right answer. Question number 39. Larvae specific. Underline the word specific. Now tell me other words for specific. Particular. Absolutely. Specific, particular, or there is another word, distinct. Distinct. Particular, for example, particular uh, diet, specific diet, distinct diet, anything like that, okay? Unique diet, absolutely, very good. Exact diet, yes, that's right. So now let's see larvae, dash, larvae specific, dash, and then the word is composition. Underline the word composition. What's the other word of composition? Write it down, makeup. Makeup, composition, and makeup. Okay? Consists of, yeah, composes, comprises of. Well done, that's right. Now, please. This would mean that they wouldn't have to spend most of their waking time searching for food, as most animals do. The beetle larvae have a distinct chemical makeup, which can be traced. Beetle larvae has a distinct chemical makeup. Then I'm going to get the energy. Part 4, I'm going to get the answer. So, the answer is 
Chemical, please listen to it again, those who missed. This would mean that they wouldn't have to spend most of their waking time searching for food, as most animals do. The beetle larvae have a distinct chemical makeup. Beetle larvae have a distinct chemical makeup. So, answer is chemical. Question number 40. Scientists will analyze what the birds include in their dash. Now, underline include in there. And for analyze, they may use the word scientists will estimate. And what is the other word for include? Consist. Include, consist of, included, Comprise. comprises of, or anything like that. Now, I play the audio. Scientists will analyze what the birds include in there. Scientists have collected samples from crows in order to estimate the proportion of larvae in their diet. They should then be able to gauge the extent to which... Proportion of larvae in their diet. Listen to this again. Scientists have collected samples from crows in order to estimate the proportion of larvae in their diet. They should then be able to gauge the extent to which individual birds depend on using sticks to feed themselves. All right. Answer is diet. Okay.